Buddy. You know, he looked like Dr. Uh, what's his name from Spider-Man? Octopus? No, the other one. Uh, Dr. Green Goblin? No, the guy with the iron mask. Oh, Dr. Shipbag. <laughs> yeah, uh, Spider Man, it is I, Dr. Shitbag. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we're ready. Once you're done, we're rolling. Once you're done, token. All right, hi, everybody. It's time again for the Mikey and Al podcast. I'm Mikey. I'm Al. And I am Dr. Shitbag. Happy Halloween. Happy to Halloween, Dr. Shitbag. Happy Halloween. Alrighty then. Oh Horrified. my fucking god! Horrified. We have Spider Man and Doctor Doom in the house. Yeah. Um. I'm Nick. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. You trick or treating nowadays? Not one of my favorite holidays. No, it is or it isn't. Not. Mm. But I like that people dress up. Tell us more about this. Is there like deep childhood trauma connected to this? I did. Uh, yeah, my mother stopped us. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. My mother, well, not trauma, but my mother stopped us from trick or treating in the first grade when I was in the first grade because she thought it was evil. Wow. She and, thought it was on like a satanic kind of a holiday or something. Yep. Like that. A you lot hear of that the a traditions lot. are based on, um, on pagan and uh, I think witchcraft. Yeah. Paganism and, and witchcraft. Right. Uh, you know. But it's crazy how. So I guess. <laughs> yeah. There, there went trick or treating though. Yeah. Uh, as an adult, I tend to agree with her. Huh. I really <laughs> never thought of it that Not way. Not really. I mean, I don't agree. But but the let's look up some of the origins here, because it, it really did be it sucked being the only one on the street. You know that. Uh, I think it came. It was it, it was some kind of a Celtic, Syme, um kind of a thing that shot up about two thousand years Wait, ago. Wait, let's go over who That's we are today. At. Yeah, who are we? Who are we? Nick, who are you? Uh, I guess I'd be a Shakespearean actor. The big ruffles and everything, you know? Yeah, Shakespearean That's, kind uh, of um, yeah. murderer. Uh, pull the mask down there. Pull the mask down? Well, the first one down. What do you mean? There's you only the one mask. Under it? This is my true face. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Great move. Yeah. Your dollar store mask. Um, according to... So what are you, a Shakespearean what? He's a Shakespearean uh, uh, mask, uh, not mask, but uh, serial killer. Yeah, I guess All Shakespearean right. serial killer. I have a big book of Shakespeare. I meant to bring it as like a prop. That is cute. It was too heavy. I prefer Dr. Shitbag. Yeah. All right, Dr. Shitbag. <laughs> Dr. Shitbag it is. And you're looking industrial? I'm looking industrial. I think it was going for more a, um, I forgot what it was called. You a mentioned more a. it. <laughs> Steampunk. Steampunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I look good because I tried I tried on. Um, that's, a, that's a really pimp. Uh, uh, pipe you got there. Thank you. I yeah. thought the pipe went along well with it. So um, it was sort of a last minute pick. I tried on a lot of, um, you know, you had the prosthetic uh, uh, hats that you could put on that go over your face and chip. Yeah. I couldn't breathe at all. So, I mean, this this worked out well. And the goggles fit over the glasses, which, which was a score. Perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, you so I can it. actually see out of them. It's crazy. Nice. And yourself? I, I got a Friar Tuck wig. I like that. And mm-hmm. I'm using this for something I'm filming already. I okay. I was too lazy to actually go spend money to go <laughs> buy an outfit. Gotcha. And I'm, I, uh, it's, it's Friar Tuck, but I used it to, it's, um, this is, uh, this is me six months from now. <laughs> you know, once, once the hair finally goes. You've I got like a little bit go, up front, but, you know but then like, uh, You look, you sort of look, I mean, you're looking dapper as a brunette though. Oh, thank I think you. if you basically, right. yeah, you dyed your hair, uh. You went brunette wise. I think you and uh, I think you could pull it off. Yeah, you think the horseshoe? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Of this works. Yeah, yeah, but you're not really going bald. It's I've a it's a of, strange one. I've seen a lot of guys in a lot worse shape. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think you got. I always feel like it's six months away though, where it's just like, okay, now I got to shave it. Got to shave the head. Well, I think that that's probably going to be a good call. I mean, you don't want what you don't want. And you see those people who have those. Yeah, you know they let it go too far, or let's say their their, their scalp is like halfway, uh, uh, you know, in the middle of their head, yeah. or they may have that one clip of hair. At that point, just shave it because I think it looks cool nowadays. A lot of people, are, you know, they're doing the ball thing and it works well. Yeah, seems low maintenance too. Low maintenance, right? I think, without a doubt. Yeah, my right. roommate uh, shaves his head. Yeah. He's got like a, a six screen thing that zzz, like yeah, six yeah. of them, you know. Yeah. 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 Goes over his head once, you know. Boom. 
Oh. Yeah. They have that thing you put in your hand now. Oh. Now you just shave, uh, shave over your head. I think it's a great way to do it. I, I just mean, get I always it. I do about threading. The head. I get all my hair threaded. No. <laughs> What's that? That's that thing in the mall where you see the threading places, and they just take string and rip your hair out by like pulling the strings together. Yeah. It's yeah. Ter- it hurts. I had it done once. Let's get back on topic. Yeah. Oh shit. We were on topic. You were talking about being bald in the bald cap, and oh yes. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. It's all good. So it's Halloween. Right. So mom <laughs> did not like Halloween. I have so this horrible fear of going off topic and never <laughs> coming back. <laughs> so mom didn't like Halloween. So was that mean? I mean, was there a period of years you couldn't celebrate it or what? Yeah. Yeah. Every really? Year. Yeah. Every year. Yep. Wow. Yeah. We so left you... uh, candy outside with uh, like Christian pamphlets. <laughs> okay. For people so they wouldn't throw shit at the house. <gasps> really? All right. All yeah. right. But uh, my mother did not want to partake in it. And then as an older lady, she, uh, she enjoyed trick-or-treating with the grandkids. Oh, really? So she saw Wow. She saw up a little, little, little bit. You know? Yeah. But let's look up some of the origins here, and maybe yeah, she was the... right. I don't know. I think you can. I mean, there's always some kind of a satanic thing you could probably tie into Halloween. And it's funny because, you know, the most, uh, the most joy out of Halloween that is to be derived is predominantly from kids, right? I mean, they get to dress up in their... Favorite little outfits and when we were younger, it was mm-hmm. teenagers. Well, teenagers you get away yeah. with like uh, throwing eggs at people. Yeah, you houses. could do the tricks part. You could do the you tricks the part. Tricks. Yeah, Silly yeah, rabbit. that's true. And you know what? Back then, it, it was like Halloween didn't start till. I mean, you wanted to be pitch dark out. You're waiting for everything. You know, you wanted to die down. Oh yeah. And then you could get your Cover groove on dark. with your friends doing the. Uh, Doing the whole egg thing, or maybe also doing the, um, you know, what is it, the uh, with the toilet paper and the trees and that kind of thing. Yeah. Nowadays, you get in trouble for it. You do. Nowadays, they'll put you in jail for well, it. Well, you got in trouble yeah. back then. I remember Not really. You, you got, got caught. sort of a slap on the wrist. Oh, there you I go. remember certain people would freeze eggs. Ooh. And then throw them? Yep. That's just me. Does that help? Or is that no, just like just, a rock? it was like a riot. It was a riot in those days. You used to take, like, the... the um, the shaving cream can that sprayed like the gel, mm-hmm. and you put a uh, a pin in the front, and then melt it down around it and pull the pin out, so you could shoot like thirty feet away. You know, how do you do that again? Your, what do you do? You take a uh, you know, psh, psh, you know, the little gel. Yeah, you, know, you, gotta you put a, a needle right in there, right, and the tip, uh-huh. and then you melt the tip around it so it just closes around the needle. Oh, I see. The needle. And it oh, shoots and it just fires out. Tra- oh, I see. Because it's a um, uh, yeah. Okay, it's a smaller opening. Yeah, it's a pressure. smaller opening. So you take the plastic tube yeah, and, you and can then mace you... people from across the street, you know, and then mm-hmm. just disappear into the woods. That's great. I think yeah. <laughs> I, Viking Heights. It was a riot. It was basically a riot. I mean, with, they were all kids, but they were all smashing that? glass bottles on cop car windshields. That's so a riot. Wait a minute. So, so wait a minute. A in terms of freezing the eggs. What's the thought process there? Because that's got to hurt. I well, mean, I froze my eggs just in case I wanted just a child. You pain. You're like the kind of dirty kid, you know, who lives down the wow, street. Wow. That know, one's, that one's, trash. yeah, that one's you bad. You run over cats' heads and shit with your mouth. Oh, yeah, holy. That's pretty fucked that's, up. That's, that's horrifying. That's, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I never heard of the freezing of the eggs. Yeah. I, I mean, everything else in terms of the um, shaving cream and all that kind of stuff. And then even papering, or what is it, uh, wallpapering, or toilet paper. TPing. TPing. Yeah, that, that wasn't, no. We just yeah. left buildings on fire. But again, I mean, I think nowadays it used to be. <laughs> what you do? Man, it was rough, man. People were like. <laughs> we just committed arson. We just, beat the, we just beat up old people and little children, and yeah. we lit buildings so on fire. kids candy at the end of the night, and that, that started off the adrenaline. Oh. This is what we did. We just started, like, horrifying old women. You know, and did. Car windshield. I horrify you everybody. Took, so. so you let them out there. You didn't. You you almost did like a uh, let them go out there. Let them do the footwork. Let them gather. Let them. G- <laughs> you know, and then right. jump the claim. Jump you know? the claim. Yep. Stash oh. it. Stash it somewhere safe. Uh huh. And waterproof. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then go and uh, go and take place in the bedlam. Yeah. And Man. you know what? Now it's such a shame nowadays. You know these kids are doing. They're doing trick or treat in malls, you know, like they're in the middle of the day. It's just sad. They go from uh, store to store because everybody's afraid of uh, kids being out at night nowadays. You know, I mean, it's just I mean, the world's changed. Yeah, they have like parking lots, right? Or yeah, what is parking, it, park, lots. Park or parking lots, treat or 
Trunk and treat or Trunk some shit treat. like Trunk that. Trunk or treats. Those are cute. Trunk or treats. It's yeah. cute, but there's not much color I mean, involved, yeah. Exactly. You know, can't you go up onto the old lady's porch and get a... They still do trick or treating. Only. There's a great house in Montgomery. I mean, they really did... They They're out, on the corner there by the yeah. bridge. Yeah, they outdid yeah, themselves yeah. this year. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They used to be like an indoor house there, man. They got smoke pouring into the street. Got an, I don't even think it's legal. No, really? this whore house up top. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't care, man. Flashing lights and stuff. You know, it's great. Oh, it's a great yeah. spirit. They let them yeah. get away with it. Yeah. I so, got it. I I gotta say, I don't the, think it says whore house. No, though. it doesn't. It says horror or circus. Or circus. <laughs> circus. Yeah. <laughs> the people who do. Whore I mean, house. there are people who just go all out. I mean, they're spending. Thousands upon thousand dollars on on Halloween decorations and put in front of their house, and I think it's a uh, it's a competition to a certain degree. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's as severe as uh, Christmas, but no, they're getting no. up there now, right? They're getting up there. You know what it is? The haunted houses are the big thing. Yeah, they're people like you know they have to constantly. I saw a documentary recently on like um, scare house. What is it? Uh, what they, I guess haunted houses. But yeah, mm-hmm. it was on these people who put them up. They have to keep one upping themselves every year. You know. Mm-hmm. I so can you see that. You keep up one, one upping yourself and beating out the competition. Haunted houses freak me out. Yeah. Though, a little All bit. the people who are involved, their spouses hate them. You know? Is that what they it just is? Like hate what they do. Yep. You know? yeah. oh, what was that movie? Yeah, because you spend all year moving towards like this day. Yeah. And for what? Uh, that's <laughs> true. A bunch too. Of people. That's true. Yeah, that you do it. Family off. You yeah. do it for the bragging exactly. rights. Yeah. The yeah, bragging. Exactly. What was that well, movie? You love it. These guys seem to really love it. You they, know what I mean? They're in it because they love it. They made a Christmas version of that in a movie form. Uh, I think Dan Aykroyd was the... Or, yeah, Dan Aykroyd was one of the neighbors. Two neighbors across from each other. They try to outdo each the other. Uh, I think it was the Crumps. No, no. There was a movie about oh, these yeah. guys like outdoing themselves know, for Christmas. Christmas. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. Same concept. Fuck, who was in you know yeah. what I mean, though? <laughs> The bottom uh, line is, I do like suburban um, yes, across the street. Yes, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, Hatfield McCoy shit. Yep. Yeah, I just think Halloween um, is it's gotten a it's it's gotten a lot. I mean, even when you see these things, I and mean, what happened? This is probably years ago, but I wonder if it still happens. Remember when you had to get your Halloween candy X-rayed, or they were yeah. rec- recommending that to the hospitals? Yeah. Oh, isn't that a shame, though, when you're sitting out there and you're, you know, you got to go, okay, Mom, I just came back and got my sack full of candy. Okay, let's go to the emergency room and x-ray the shit. Yeah, they x-ray it, and then they put radiation all over it. (laughs) Well, Well, that ended up being, right, that (laughs) razor blades and whatnot. I I believe so. So Uh, that ended up being uh, urban legend, too, right, alongside all the other ones that people people made. I'm sure people, but they probably did that after people started saying it and making that up. I remember going to a supermarket and getting uh, loose gummies. Remember they used to have the, the lid you... Pop them up, and you uh, yeah, anything, and you absolutely. Fill up the bag and then weigh it. And then Can't yeah, do that anymore. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I remember I got it, and uh, my mother was really pissed. <laughs> what do you mean? It made me throw it out. Oh, because it was she loose. Was worried, yeah, yeah, that's worried true. That there was glass in the can. Yep, it's crazy what people do nowadays. Yeah, it's insane. But uh, it was it a uh, urban legend, or what, did it? Happen? It was an urban legend. It didn't actually happen. There were no razor blades in the candies. I don't think there was razor blades, but wasn't there something found? That was the some, scare. Some there was, kid. There in, were bolts yeah. found in Pepsi's. Something like that. Maybe. No, I, I think don't that, know. That, that was proven false. Too. Was that I don't proven know. false? I, that's one I haven't heard of before. Uh, yeah, that was for a little while there. That did a lot of damage, and Pepsi prosecuted the people to the full extent of the law. It's weird that we know about these things. They had, like, the first guy fake. come out. Don't do it. <laughs> You'll get caught. They'll find out. <laughs> don't do it like I did. Whistle, whistleblower. Yeah. <laughs> You know it's crazy though how many kids, okay remember there's there's always a little um uh disagreement of how much uh, how much candy the kid should take should you be handing the candy out or should the can- the the kid be able to reach in and grab his own amount. I'm I'm wondering what's the th- what's, oh, the, what's the proper etiquette now? What's the proper get- what's the proper etiquette there? One shows more. Nick, you went trick or treat. So really? yeah, I always preferred the houses where <laughs> As a kid, obviously, I preferred the houses where you could take as much candy as you wanted. 
But then there'd be signs that say, take one, and that bowl would be empty at the start of the night, and you know that some kid just dumped all of their candy in there. Yeah, because it's not a crime. No, it's not a crime. I mean, nobody's going to care. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're just ruining it for everybody else. That's you, trick or treating. you know what? You can't just some leave that candy. Care. You can not leave that candy out there uh, 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 of your own volition and just, like, say, take one. Unless you do, like, a Pez dispenser. <laughs> no, the honor system doesn't work unless not you have, like, a, a camera pointed at you. Yeah, but that's so, that's, you know, come on, you can do that for Halloween. It's like kids That'd be and candy. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just make your entire your entire decoration is like Six twelve cameras, really yeah. Outdated, uh, <laughs> cameras, old cam CCTV for, cameras. For, take for, one and only one. Talk to him through a shitty speaker. Occasionally, watched. Occasionally, have a big red thing go off, like a big alarm. You know, Wee- just randomly, yeah, yeah, yeah randomly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially if someone takes two. Two. You know? If you could figure that out, or be standing right outside the door. <laughs> well, you just watch him with your ring. Yep. They're, everybody's got a ring. Ring. Yeah. Everybody's got a ring now, which is good. Stops a lot of porch pirates. Keeps UPS in check. You know. So do we go one or we two? I'm not really UPS. sure. I don't know where we're at. Where are we, Nick? Bring we were talking about how I'm how was it? About, uh, was it one candy or two candies? Sirens and all kinds of stuff. I wasn't really sure. What well, you Mike know. and I were having a conversation. You don't was always it, have to get it. Was it about? Well, <laughs> I don't, I don't have the time. What's uh, that? We did. Um, we were. <laughs> Mike, you were the one who recommended. Uh, recommended what? The camera. I did. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, it's beyond the point. Oh yeah, go back. The, I mean, besides the point, one. we were talking about one or two, and when well, I was it a kid, be two. I uh, mean, don't get me wrong, but it's it's the whole handful thing that I think is it throws you off a little. I bit. went trick or treating with my sister and my nephew in the Bronx last year, <laughs> and mm-hmm. uh, you definitely need to take one. You need to take one, right? Yeah, but there's someone sitting there watching it. Have you ever? But been they tr- don't hand it out. They they're like take. You know. Have you ever been trick or treating? People give you like, uh, and it's happened to me. They'll give you like tangerines or fucking. Uh, fruit or like a banana or some shit like that. Yeah, something <laughs> shitty. You're like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, sugar it won't rot the teeth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. You're putting yeah. out apples they on Halloween. They give you that or I maybe like a Pop Tart or a granola bar or some shit like that. Yeah. And you're like, okay. And then when you separate your candy, you're like, okay, I gotta take care. I gotta, you know, no granola bars. No, uh, y- y- you want the good stuff. I mean, what 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 is the good stuff? In shitty my, sugar candy. You want shitty sugar candy? What Chocolate. is the good stuff? I think the good stuff has to lie. And I looked it up. What mm-hmm. do you think some of the best, uh, the most sought after candy is? If you're out there getting candy, what do you think the top five may be? Smarties. Nope. Nope. Circus peanuts. M and M's. Nope. 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 Reese's. Black licorice. Reese's, uh, um, uh, uh, Skittles, not Reese's, but, um, what do you mean not Reese's? Um, Hershey's. No, Reese's Cups? Yeah, Reese's. Number one. Any Reese's, yeah. Number one. That's and then favorite. Snickers, I think, is number two. Ooh. And then, um, it goes gradually down the line. Maybe Snickers, Mars. Hershey's. This is, this is in America, Hershey's. by the way. This is, this is America that we're talking about. Yeah. This is America. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, assuming they got... Yeah, we're not talking about... Uh, you yeah, know, so how about how, how about you? Did you, in Germany, as a little uh, Jungen, did you do... Uh, did you do, little human. Did you do trick-or-treating? Yeah, what did you do in Germany? Uh, quite frankly... Um, they yell and throw things. In, 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 they drink. <laughs> they smash beer together <laughs> and drink it. When I went to... No, I was in high school. When only the children. Was, uh, trick-or-treating came about. So I did trick-or-treating... <laughs> Pretty much over here, so I really didn't do a lot of trick or treating over there, um, and and you know they have their traditions and whatnot, but a lot of it doesn't pertain to what we do over here. So, well, what are those? What traditions? do they do there? Flog people yeah. and then shame them? Yes. Pretty much shame. No what? shame. <laughs> do they do anything fun? <laughs> That's yeah, fun. They, they, Thank you, sir. You know, they, there's a a, a a a night they have foshing, which is basically sort of a uh, our um, um, our version of Halloween, you know, where they all dress in costume and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. Um, but I think our Halloween traditions over here are more um, derived from, you know, uh, witchcraft. Yeah, right? yeah, but and but pagans. Well, the yeah. the cannibals. the Samhain from oh, like cannibals. from Gaelic traditions. Gaelic you know. tradition. What do we got? Look it up real quick. What do we? Where do we derive Hollywood? Hollywood. Halloween? Yeah, Halloween. 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 Well, well, you know, some interesting uh, facts in the history of Halloween. You know. Yeah, give us some um, interesting. Uh, apparently, it has its roots in the. Does the uh, the, w- the uh, Salem uh, witch trials have anything to do with? It? I think. <laughs> it, well, I don't know if it has anything to do with, but it definitely 
Um, I think we talked right? about this. Salem is probably one of the most, probably the most, one of the coolest places to go around this time, Salem, Massachusetts, because you have, um, I, I want to say it's under the courthouse because I went to Salem one time and they have where they used to keep the witches and these, these little cramped cells that you could barely even move in. And a lot of them are basically not even big enough for uh, a, a person to even um, to stretch out in. And that's what they, you know, that, that's where they would keep people. It's just amazing what, uh, mm -hmm. um, just what like they the, did back then. I oh, mean, the stuff horrible. they did in Salem was terrible. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, the witch hunts and all that. <laughs> so, like, All Hallows' Eve was the day before All Saints' Day in Celtic traditions. And All Hallows' Eve, they would celebrate this deity, I think. So it's like uh, Mardi Gras before uh, mm, Lent? Kind of. Exactly like that, I think. Yeah. Uh, Crazy shit, though, right? Carving jack-o'-lanterns was... Uh, apparently, there was a story about a guy named Stingy Jack who was able to, like, trick the devil three separate times in his life, and eventually Stingy Jack dies while Satan is still, like, giving him uh, leniency for his soul. Like, mm -hmm. he, he's still in the middle of a deal with Stingy Jack, and heaven doesn't want him, and hell can't have him, and so Stingy Jack is cursed to roam around uh, killing people, and so people would start carving faces into uh, pumpkins and calling them jack-o'-lanterns and putting yeah. lights in them. Oh, so that they, sounds so like that to scare away To scare away Stingy Jack. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that happened. <laughs> I love how we hear uh, some of the most nonsensical I didn't stuff. I know that one, though, man. And it's I, didn't know, I didn't know that either. Stingy Jack, huh? Yep. So let me ask you this. What is what is it's some... I know a guy named Stingy Bill. Oh. Was he? Fucking cheap. <laughs> well, I've done a lot of... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <he's a, laughs> I think we've all known somebody named Stingy Bill. Bill. Something, right? Oh, jeez. I was in rehab with a guy named Dollar Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest... Dollar, dollar Bills, y'all. <laughs> You got to you got to segue into that one. That's Why would you call Dollar Bill? Oh, because he's just concerned with making money all the time. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah, so like he didn't really have any friends. Uh -huh. People he worked with called him Dollar Bill. That's okay, great. Yeah. but he was in he rehab. Wasn't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, he, I thought he introduced himself as I'm Dollar Bill. <laughs> no, no, he was like a real. Um, so he obviously dry kind of, you know. Did he have money or was he? He had, he had money, yeah. I think he uh, had money. I didn't okay. ask him how much, but he was uh, well to do, you know. Okay. Yeah, his career and money weren't a concern. I think just uh, just getting over his addictions. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. <laughs> okay. I hope you're not uh, focused on your when career. He, when he said, you know, he was telling his story and he was admitting how, like, you know, um, he didn't have any friends and everything. And, he uh -huh. said, you know, I'm always just concerned with making money and you yeah. know, money's my thing. People I work with call me Dollar Bill, you know. I was like, oh, that's oh so that's sad. But then I started laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A fucking jerk. <laughs> Anyways, go yeah. on. How old was he? He was in his late fifties. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's near retirement. Got to mm. be retired now. What was his? Uh, what was his addiction? I can't say too much. Mm. Not allowed yeah. to. Yeah. All they right. were all heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair enough. Um. Yeah, so where are we at? Oh, yeah, just in case dollar approaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day, what know? about, um, <laughs> what are your, uh, let's say top, um, you know, around this time, you got the Halloween movies coming out. Anything that uh, stands out on you as a oh, kid? Yeah. That, Any uh, traditions for got movies? Got you a little, uh, got you a little, little scared or angst up. I could remember the, I think the first Freddy, Freddy Krueger movie got me a little. Yeah, I like Freddy Krueger. Yeah. That's but horrible, then it, it it turned a little fucking it gets weird, a, yeah, right? A little yeah, yep. funny after that. Yeah. Um, that was Johnny have, Depp, right? You have Halloween. You got Texas Chainsaw. I mean, any of those movies? Saw any? You know, any? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's a scene scene in the beginning where this girl gets put on a hook. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's screaming, and you know, like yeah, yeah. And he just closes the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the original. Closes the sliding door, and it just silence. Silence. It's real unsettling. Yeah. There were certain, just images from a lot of these movies. I couldn't watch a lot of horror movies when I was a kid. I was chicken. Shit. I couldn't either. I was watching them last year, though, like the classics. I the love them. Classics like uh, The Omen. And, mm -hmm. uh, Omen. Oh, the Shining's yeah, yeah. my favorite. Rosemary's Baby. But that's borderline. Yeah, I mean, but The Shining is not, it's horror, but it's not well, really. It's, it's more like a thriller. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know. You it's, ever see Salem's it's Lot? Scary. Uh, it is scary. Salem's Lot? Yeah. That was, that, that, that one got me. Old children, the uh, corn, maybe. What's wrong with Greg Peck? Uh, yeah, uh, the with the case, got to kill his son. Son's the Antichrist, Damien. Oh, Damien! I don't yeah. know this one. Uh, 
Sympathy uh, for the Devil. Uh, my Keanu. boy John's listening right now. He's like yelling the name of the <laughs> movie. Damien. Right, you Gregory, got Gregory Peck kills the Anti Devil. Yeah, his son I is mean, the Antichrist. They just the came out son. with it. They came out with it. Switched at birth. They uh, came out with a new was... Exorcist, I believe. Right? Uh, Didn't they? Come oh, that's out with the devil. Is that not the Omen? The Omen. Yeah, you just you mentioned the Omen already. I did. Yeah. Well, here I go again. <laughs> I think they came out with here just. Also, I'd like to see the Omen two. You know, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen the first Omen. I don't. I don't like oh, to watch the, the sequels. Good, Omen, I got to check it out. Yeah. Um, great character. Like they're coming out with the what do you call it right now? Your uh, son is the devil. Your son is the devil. Uh, There's a guy who comes to warn him in it. He's yep. a, a photographer. Or I yeah. Think a, a, um, Every journalist. son is always the devil. And he's scarier than the devil in it. You know what I like about the, 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 the let, let's say, like the Michael Myers and all those movies is because it's not in relation to the devil. It's just basically a scary fucking movie that doesn't, it, yeah. they, don't, they don't throw the devil into the equation. Yeah, the devil's you know kind of predictable. The devil's predictable, yeah. yeah he's going to do his he's shit. He's going to pull his tricks, and he's exactly. the heavy hitter. Yep, yep. Yeah, when you get one of his little demon guys who show up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they can come in any form, and they'll be a little twisted and weird. You never heard yep. of them before. Well, I guess that was the attraction. For I the tell friend. you what was a cool thing. Remember, Jason. I don't know if Jason, when he fought Michael Myers, that was... Oh. Remember that one? Yeah, uh, uh, Freddy, Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, Freddy versus Jason. But I, didn't I they put the theater. didn't they put one of them as the better guy in, uh, against the other one at the end? I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think Jason's the good guy. Jason, yeah, yeah. because he's quiet. I think he needed to have more sympathy. Maybe well, that's I what how was? they made that decision. I don't know, but those two. I mean, well, I guess you can't make Freddy a good what, guy. Freddy versus Jason. No. If you made Freddy like a good guy at all, that would probably ruin Freddy. Jason, you could kind of make him a half a good guy because he doesn't say anything. So it's I know, but yeah. how many times can these guys take fucking fifteen knives in the gut and still get up? And well, that's the point. Walk around. Times. That's why we a love seeing times, them. Right? That's the whole oh, point. Yeah. We love it. I know, but I it. mean, you know, they'll get stuck in the fucking eyeball with a twelve-inch knife, and they like pull it out, and they're like, "Okay." And then they stab the person who stabbed they, them. Yeah, it's stab great. Stab them and yeah. whatnot. So, Freddy, <laughs> yeah, how many times has Mike Myers been uh, down and out? Right. Oh my God, I can't. And Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the love guru. Uh, no, no. It wasn't that good. Cat in the Hat. <laughs> that was a piece. It wasn't good, right? It wasn't good. Well, Although there is some hat? funny, there's some funny moments in it. I will say that. I, oh, I, I met Michael Myers. Yes, right. The actor he hey, he did a series. I never saw Cat in the Hat. Back up. He did a series called the Triumvirate or the Septumvirate or whatever, where he plays that the was, leaders that of the world. Was, that sucked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it did. It was like a. It's supposed to be a comedy. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't back really to good. Michael Myers, not Mike Myers. Yeah, the, I honestly, Mike, if you were to ask me now, Halloween. which one is which, I couldn't tell you which is which anymore. Michael Myers is from Halloween. Oh, and Mike Myers. Mike is... Mike Myers is my old neighbor from Viking Heights. Okay. Well, he's he's he confusing good. Mike Myers with the um, <laughs> not a neighbor, but with a neighbor. the whole um, uh, what the hell is his name, uh, Goldfinger dude or whatever. Um, James Bond. No, you're saying Mike Myers from. Um, Anyway, you're confusing us. Yeah, he's thinking Austin Powers, Mike. Yo, Powers. is there another Mike Meyer actor? No. Oh, no, we're talking about Michael Halloween. Myers is a fictional yeah, but there was never a Goldfinger. Halloween. Goldfinger isn't. Yes, it no, was. He's saying Goldfinger because he thinks he's he was crossing his lines with Bond and uh, Gold Member. Gold That's, Member. Thank That's you. It. Yeah. Gold Member. Yeah. You're Goldfinger right. was Bond. Yes. All right. Gold Member. You're right. Um, but getting back to Halloween, nice you're right. Sharp Bond. You had Jason. <laughs> you have. Um, That's a shitty Bond. I'll do a better Bond. You had Jason, you have uh, Mike Myers, uh, then you had Freddy Krueger, which started to become sort of a joke after a while, right? I mean, as the wasn't yeah. there like fifteen different Freddy Krueger? I mean, there had to be like six or seven. I, yeah, I saw Jason. Jason takes Manhattan. Something the, like exactly, exactly, exactly yeah. like yeah. that. Um, but who was who was? Wasn't there one or two other that just insane? Um, uh, yeah, crazy you want people. Cheaper, a uh, creeper from Jeepers Creepers. That's later, is it? Well, you also had what's his name? Um, was it? Uh, it was so the Texas you, Chainsaw though. guy. There's what is it? Mommy, 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 dearest. Um, uh, what was his name? The guy uh, who who killed uh, people in the shower. What the fuck was his name? I know everybody. Warren has. Bates. Warren Bates. That's it, right? Yep. That was another no. good one. That's Psycho. Psycho. Nightmare movies. Yep. Oh, shit. What did I get a nightmare from when I was a kid? I don't know. I guess anything that was scary. Nick, anything leave an imprint on you when you were a kid? Yeah. Here we go. We're good. Besides your parents. <laughs> what? 
Uh, as far as mm, Silence of the Lambs, probably the scariest movie I ever saw when I was a kid. Really? Yep. Yeah, he watched it. How old were you when was you like watched eight it? Eight or nine. He was eight, watching it by himself. Mm. It was yeah. good. I watched it right after an episode he of Duck Dodgers. Sneak, man. Mm. I watched an episode of Duck Dodgers, and then I watched that. <laughs> you should have went the other way. Yeah, <laughs> I should have gone the other way. Yeah, cool yeah, interesting. What about you? Uh, any, uh, any? I can remember. I can remember watching the first Exorcist by myself. I was nine, Oof. and I can remember that I. You know what I did? I opened the front door. I opened the back door. And I sat there and I watched and I was a f- I, w- I was like, okay, if anything happens, you can just run out the door. But That's how my mind was thinking. <laughs> yeah. And then what happened was my brother came home, from what I recollect, and he was knocking on the window and it scared the shit out of me. I think he was trying to scare me a little bit possibly. So I flew out the front door. and um, But that always sticks in my mind is The Exorcist because I was like, you know what? I'm going to get through this movie because I was trying to get over fear. You know what I mean? Oof. You know, you're 9, 10, whatnot. But that exorcist, oh, once she started turn. spinning yeah. her fucking head, I was like, holy shit. Yep. You know? Yeah, you're I done for. Like, yeah, I was like, holy shit. So I kept. You I picked kept, the wrong film to get brave yeah, on. Exactly. Yes, I did. picked the wrong frame to get brave on because that was really a well done film. Um, but yeah, that's probably the first time I could think of that. I was like, you know, really got into the um, scary movies and. I can deal with scary movies, but it's not like, you know, it, it, would it be my genre of choice? Probably not. No. You know. What about you? Life's horrifying. What about me? Oh, uh. I find life to be absolutely horrifying. What about you, Mike? Enough. Uh, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Yeah. yeah, scared the shit out of me when yeah, I was a yeah, kid. Was the first one, right? Yeah, I think Especially when they're like one, two, and three were pretty far along by the time I started watching. He's them. dragging his na- uh, the, the, the you know the blades on the on. The th- yep. and, and I tell you what, whoever came out with Freddy Krueger, I, I don't know who the director was, but holy shit, was that not like a uh, great idea? A great idea and a fortune. Yep. That thing, I mean, that whole stream uh, that was a machine. Because I mean, uh, I can remember that year. Everybody's Freddy Krueger. You went outside and you saw like 50 Freddy Kruegers running. Yeah, red and green sweaters. 50 burn victims. Yeah, (laughs) crazy shit. Uh, And then you had Chucky. Remember remember Chucky? Chucky. Uh, That never. Never never found Chucky horrifying. I didn't find it horrifying, but it was sort of. Kick him. Yeah, it's creepy. A little creepy, funny creepy, right? Yeah. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the, the voice of Chucky. That's true. His name's Brad Dorif. Yes. But I will tell you what freaked me out, though, is like, you know, you see some of these scary movies and you see like these dolls open their eyes and shit like that. I can never be around like a uh, uh, a house. (laughs) Like Annabelle? Annabelle. Yeah. Come on. The demons. I could never be around a house with a bunch of dolls because I'm always thinking, oh, fuck this. The demons that that aren't controlling the doll, those are scary. The ones that are throwing people through glass windows and this stuff, those are terrifying. But Annabelle herself, the doll. (laughs) <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah, creepy owl, uh, creepy doll with the uh, with the porcelain eyes that open. You know, it's, it's always but that's still creepy. Yeah, it is kind of dumb. Anytime wait, you wait, see a here, doll Mike. and the fucking eyes open, you, we got an issue. <laughs> you know, so I mean, the, the, I I can still to this day if you're you know if if I'm in a house and it's late at night and there's a few dolls there, I'm like, uh, you want to know, like, you like, you know what scared me really is the thought is the movies where they were like human beings in masks they were entering houses and killing people and doing horror movie stuff you know oh, when uh, i was a kid i saw an australian film what's that called the cartel all kinds no. of different uh, <laughs> werewolf yeah, but that masks. stuff that was my fear as a kid yeah. like you're afraid, of, you're, you're afraid, afraid of, of fucking dolls you're that's like that well gonna... that's like war what are you talking about you're like the, what scares me human beings in masks coming in and killing people i mean that's, what the fuck those, that's that the, scare anybody when, it, when a stranger comes to call you know the yep. calls are coming from inside the house. Oh, Get out yeah. of the house. That was classic. Where this woman oh. keeps receiving phone calls and a creepy voice on the other line saying that this guy's going to murder her kids and stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess and, that uh, one's pretty bad. And yeah. the calls end up coming from inside the house. That's scary stuff. And, and all you see of the killer stuff. is I think the original just, Black Christmas was like that. All you see of the killer at the end of it is just you Not open that. the door. Could be. He just opens the door, and all you see is the silhouette of this guy opening the door. And oh, yeah. he steps out into the shadows, and she freaking runs. And, uh that's a great movie. Does he keep yeah. making obscene phone calls yeah, and, yeah. and sounds like a pig? 
he keeps making phone calls that like he's gonna kill the children and yes things like that he's gonna rape her stuff like that uh that does sound fucked up it is Oof. those are the like fucked up human that's beings scary. that's 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 the genre that gets me because those could exist people could do that yeah, yeah. La- last house on the left shit yep I yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. crazy. But Halloween has changed, though. It's not like it used to. I, 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 You know, a lot of these kids nowadays, I just feel bad that they have to go the process flow that they have Halloween during the day. They can't even go out at night, you know. Um, oh, they got to be worried about, uh, I mean, you know. Uh, uh, at the, the same time, how much, how much is that parents? How yeah, m- absolutely. How much of that is parents, you know? Like, oh, we, uh-huh. just, we, go, we go to the safe zone. Yeah, Absolutely. no matter what. Too, Meanwhile, too. they're posting pictures of their kids all day on Facebook. <laughs> That's well, it's, true. It's not like that. Uh, That's true. I mean, it is like that for some of these parents. about these yeah. people. But, yeah. but there's, like, send, your, send your kid up to the porch. You but know? I agree. Yeah, if you have Halloween on a Monday. Bit, Plus, know? it gives you a little, like, you know, that, that nerve, you know? It's almost like asking a girl to dance. You don't do that anymore, but it's like a nerve that gets built up through I time. I agree. You know? I agree. And you know what? Nowadays, I mean, what are you going to do? If you go out, I, I, I agree. Most of these kids nowadays, hopefully they're going to go out with a group of their friends, right? So they're mm-hmm. going to go, you know, they got to they got to have a little freedom. Go out there and, and 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 try to experience a good Halloween or whatever that may be to them. But uh, it's just crazy that we've gotten to a state where everybody's just so paranoid about shit that you can't do anything anymore. It's crazy. It's, I know. It's not good. Yeah. On the other hand, maybe you can't it. trust other people. I don't know. Yeah, it's maybe a they're going back to putting razor blades in the uh, yeah, yeah, maybe I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was you. That was me. You're the only person I got candy from. Last <laughs> yeah, hey, good luck with that. <laughs> Should have put that together. Yeah, we we went trick or treating. I remember, and and we went out late. You know, when I was 2009, 2010, 2011. Well, late for me. You know, probably 10:30, 11. That's pretty late. Yeah. For for a nine, ten, eleven year old, sure. But not you. You were a high energy nine, ten, eleven year old. Yeah. Right? So, so you could be up. Well, that wasn't the point. The point was that like we we were safe in our relative area. Sometimes I'd go out with my family. Yeah. And a few times I went out with the neighbors and the neighbors would go up and down the blocks all over. We would walk a couple miles just going houses to houses. Because there were a couple huh? cul-de-sacs. There's a couple cul de sacs in our area. So we would just go climb up these long hills because some of these some of these houses are just like huge hills. Yep. Just to get like a king size candy bar. There you, you know? go. And Montgomery At least it was still worth does. it. Yeah, Montgomery still does trick or treating. Like Ma- I don't think Montgomery has a curfew. Imagine if they either. gave you like the friendly size, you know, oh, all the way up that hill. Up there, all the way up the hill, yeah. There are some. I mean, there are some times when you you go up to somebody's house and you're like, "Wow, I scored." They'll give you like, <laughs> king. you know, this king size yep. candy bar, and then you go to other people's house. They give you like one little Hershey kiss, so they'll give yeah, like they give two you a little penny Hershey candy. Kiss. Or penny candy. Maybe a cinnamon disc. Exactly. Mm-hmm. you like, you piece of butter shit. Butterscotch <laughs> disc. Here's, um, here's a Yankee uh, here's candle. Here's a butterscotch candy. They give you shit right out of their fucking exactly. their, here's their, a Yankee uh, candy candle. tray that's here's like <laughs> sweated together in one <laughs> hunk. Jesus. You're like, here, here's some pickles. Here's a pickle jar and some mayonnaise. Here's or a toffee. Like that. You know? Yeah, here's a toffee. Oh. I mean, that. Yeah, here's some salt water That has happened. From our vacation I mean, this I, I've seen people hand out some pretty iffy shit. You know, I mean, um, or the yeah, the regifting wedding presents and shit. Regifting wedding or toffee, you know, anything. Hard I've can, seen hard candies, just like generic. I hard can candies. remember somebody yeah, got little shit ones for nothing. I remember somebody Where got um, they got uh, what was it? Um, uh, the, the the little tea bags. Mm. They got those. They got those. What do you mean? Like thing. It's lily for tea, not a tea bag. Of what you're thinking? No, um, I'm thinking of tea. You take your mind out of the gutter. And I was thinking of, of tea. You mean people gave out bags of tea? Yeah, they did. Don't backpedal. I wasn't. Yeah, we know what you were was... thinking. You're the ones who are sick. <laughs> you were about to verbalize like you always do every time someone mentions a tea bag. Tea bag, Jeez. huh? <laughs> Never going to England with this guy. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sick they don't pronounce their teas. They're just bags over there. Are they? <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> um. Yeah, or bananas, fucking tangerines, I wouldn't apples. Mind a banana. Yeah, that's uh, chip stuff. Eh, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty sad. It has shit. to be either sugar or chocolate. Yeah. Sugar or chocolate. Chocolate's got sugar. I mean, who's in it, buying apples? Or I've seen. Extent. You know what? I've seen. I, I have seen dollar bills. I, yeah, yeah, I'll deal with the dollar bill as a kid. You know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Bills. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You better the, the candy. Bill. The individual candy costs a lot less than the dollar bill. You know, that's my point. Yeah, there you go. 
I'll deal with the dollar bill. Although short term reward versus long term long term reward, honestly, I prefer the candy. What? I said short term reward versus the long term reward. If I got a if I got a dollar, my parents might have taken it. I mean, they wouldn't have, but you know. Wow, this your parents would have. No, probably. they would not have. Probably I as a child. I don't know. You probably would have deserved it. <laughs> You know, you got to pull still, some weight. I still deserve Did you I was at a treat? friend's house the other day, and he, he uh, allowed, he has four kids, and he allowed one of the kids to eat the other kid's uh, Jolly Ranchers, right? Mm-hmm. And what did the, the kid do? The kid whose Jolly Ranchers got eaten came out and Punched filed the, the complaint with, it, with it, no with dad. And then uh, at the end of the discussion, she said, you owe me Jolly Ranchers now. Really? <laughs> Wait, so that's His kids hill. rack up like tallies of shit that he yeah, owes them. You'll oh be my surprised. But I mean, what do you owe them? You don't owe them shit. Yeah, you should tell me. Where did they get, know, exactly. did they get the Disney Charlie chores. Ranchers from? <laughs> from Halloween trick or treating? Exactly. So yeah. did you do? No, no, they got it from uh, Dad. Did you do trick or treating in Russia as a kid? I was two. <laughs> what? I was two. It's no excuse. I dress like a ginger, and then I never stop dressing like a ginger. <laughs> You're gonna have some fucking. <laughs> do you miss Russia? No. <laughs> don't lie. I don't remember. I don't. They fluoridated <laughs> your ass, man. Fluoridated. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, he's an insurgent. I'm a sleeper cell. Yeah. Uh, no, I have no memories of Russia. You know, I sure tell you, you what. Uh, that sounds like it was laid out for you to say. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, I have no no memories of I Russia. Have no memories of Russia. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Did you guys celebrate um, uh, Halloween at Bishop Dunn? Uh, no. Not that I remember. We, we'd wear costumes. Yeah, so we'd wear costumes in school. My buddy Norm from uh, D.C. Wants, uh, wants to know more about Bishop Dunn. Does he? Yes. I could tell you, yes, they did. Absolutely, they did. We wore, we wore costumes. Yeah. We would wear costumes one day. You know, one day a year. Halloween, generally. If Halloween fell. My Otherwise, we would wear costumes the Friday before Halloween or the day before Halloween. Would it be mandatory at Bishop Dunn? Uh, you didn't have to, but you would, you know, I mean, you're going to, everybody else is wearing costumes. Are you not going to wear a costume? Bishop, Bishop Dunn. Dunn. Bishop Dunn, you could wear costumes, and they had, they also had a trunk and treat, and they had a Halloween kind of a um, fair kind of a parade kind of a thing. Um, so, yeah, they did, they did celebrate Halloween. Yep. Well, keep in mind, I went right, Bishop in Dunn. 2000 and yeah, he eight. Went, yeah, 2008. Six, seven, eight, and nine. No, no, no. 2008, 9, 10, 11. That's my when I son went. went uh, Give a shout out to Norm in D.C. Hey, Norm in D.C., this is a shout out to you from um, well, Dr. Shitbag. <laughs> there you go. I love that. <laughs> These are killing me now. Uh oh. Are they pushing in? Yeah, I can't off. imagine yeah. wearing pushing like. Your brain into your, your eyes and your brain? Yeah. Into your head? You know, we're about we're about done, right? Yeah, we're about finished. We're we about can't. Let's, I'm give becoming, us, let's get it out. I'm unfurling. On, I'll put it back I'm on starting to unfurl out. myself. Here we go. Let's uh let's get an out here. Did you you toss the hat? Or fine. You don't All right. Should we, can, glasses, okay. we can we can um we can delete the whole fucking Yeah, we'll do that. Let's yeah. let's get an out. I'd like to give let's, a shout out to out Bishop right Dunn. Yeah, let's get and an uh, Norm from DC. <laughs> <laughs> to Bishop, Bishop Dunn, Dunn, Norm from DC. To, to Bishop Dunn Memorial School, Mrs. Wait. Flanagan. The yeah, this show is brought that. to you by Norm and DC and Bishop Dunn Memorial oh, I know. School. That was my second degree, Mrs. Right, Benefer. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> um, you're gonna get in trouble with Mrs. Benefer. No, she's the headmistress now, I believe. Oh, mistress, principal. I don't know Frowned what upon, you know. I don't know what you call. It. Anyway, it's called adultery. Let's do the out. This has been another great episode of the Mikey Now podcast starring Mikey. I'm Mike. Uh, or if you um, just want nudes, I'll we'll send those too. Slide into the DMs. You probably don't. <laughs> uh, 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 Remember to comment, subscribe. Subscribe, like. Like. Right? And uh, give us any suggestions oh, for comment. episode ideas and anything that you'd like to see on the show. Yeah, yeah we've got a couple of good episodes coming up, and we hope that you keep watching. Thanks, shitbag.
Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.